My name is Laura Onions. I'm an artist and educator based in Wolverhampton. Um, my work in the collection is a painting of a woman reading on bright pink packaging that I received during lockdown. Reading has always been an important part of my own kind of learning journey and um, I always find it a way to escape to different spaces, um, hearing different narratives and perspectives. Um, and I think that interest in reading and my own passion for reading kind of merged with the art world and I started looking at paintings of women reading and I was quite interested in why is this a, a kind of whole uh, genre in kind of in painting. Um, so I began making a series of works responding to these images, this kind of almost being a voyeur into this uh, kind of private moment of somebody reading a book but not knowing what they're reading but also quite interested in who was painting these images it's quite often male painters historically painting kind of young women reading so it's interesting kind of power dynamics going on there um, and then I was making a lot of prints based on these and then during lockdown I didn't have access to a print workshop um, and I was living in a flat at the time, so I just started doing some paintings from my sofa. And I was responding to a painting by John Baptiste Caro, which was a painting of a woman in quite an enclosed space, reading at a table. In the background, there is a, a kind of landscape scene, but it's actually a painting in the scene, but it's kind of positioned in a way that looks a bit like a window. Um, so I was quite interested in how um, these acts of painting and also reading can kind of take you away from your surroundings. Um, so at the time, uh, feeling quite enclosed in that space, that became quite an important kind of space for me um, out of the kind of roles of working, living, eating in the same space. Um, so carving out that moment actually became so much more important. As part of the wider 2020 collection programme, I've asked the other artists in the exhibition to propose a text that has been important, important to them during lockdown, um, whether that's personally or has supported their practice and ideas. And that will form part of a reading list called Recommended Reading, um, a kind of a list of texts that other people might want to share and also tap into. Um, and then that'll culminate in an event um, in summer where we'll come together to discuss these texts and reflect on our experiences of the past few years.